in my last video i talked about pcod and pcos and some ways to manage those conditions many of you ask for a specific diet plan for managing those conditions so in today's video i'm going to share a sample indian meal plan with some options for each meal this meal plan is anti-inflammatory and has good amount of complex carbohydrates lean protein and some healthy fats such meal plan would ensure adequate nutrition help you lose weight and help you manage insulin levels and your pcod or pcos symptoms you can find a variety of meal plans on the internet but the one i'm going to share with you is based on what worked for my clients with pcod and pcos conditions so let's get started before we begin, I'd like to encourage you to have a structured day, meaning your wake up time, your sleep time and meal time should be around the same time of the day. Now let's take a look at the sample Indian meal plan. So let's say you wake up at 6 a.m. Upon waking up, you can have a glass of warm water with half lemon juice plus a pinch of Sri Lankan rolled cinnamon powder. There are so many benefits of drinking lemon cinnamon water empty stomach. Lemon helps cleanse the liver, balances the body's pH level, boosts metabolism and helps with weight loss. Cinnamon helps increase metabolic rate, reduces inflammation and regulates blood sugar. Or you can have methi water which is fenugreek water, empty stomach as it regulates blood sugar, improves metabolism, helps in detoxification, improves gut health and aids in weight loss. 30 minutes later, around 6.30 a.m., you can do some physical activity for 30 minutes such as morning walk, biking or yoga. It has been seen that people who exercise first thing in the morning tend to be more dedicated and lose weight faster and maintain it. After exercise, you can have a fibrous fruit such as an apple or a pear. Then around 9 a.m., you can have your breakfast. Have a breakfast that is high in protein and fiber and has small amount of healthy fat. Such breakfasts could keep you full and satisfied for at least 3-4 to four hours, hopefully until lunchtime. Some breakfast options are ragi mung dal chilas with green chutney, millet dosa or idli with coconut chutney, masala oats. Make sure it's not ready made and use steel cut oats instead of quick oats and make oats with double the amount of vegetables. The other option is to have upma made with 1 is to 2 ratio of suji and mixed vegetables or you can have one glass sattu shake with upma made with vegetables and samake chawal or barnyard millet. For this take 1 cup samake chawal and 2 cups of vegetables to make upma. Then you can have lunch at around noon time or around 12.30 pm. It should be the largest meal of the day. It has been seen that people who ate a larger lunch than dinner lose more weight. For lunch, first thing you can have is a big bowl of salad with about 2 to 3 tablespoons of ground flax seeds. Then you can have one bowl of light dal such as mung dal, one bowl of green sabzi like zucchini or torai, tinda, cabbage, cauliflower, ghia or peta which is ash gourd or winter melon with two small sized jawar or ragi roti. Around 3 pm if possible you can go for a short walk. And if you don't have time, then you can just climb stairs two to three times in your office or at home, so you don't feel lethargic. After your walk, only if you're hungry, you can have a fruit that has low sugar and less calories, such as one cup raspberries or blueberries, or you can have two kiwis with skin on as it is loaded with vitamin C and good fiber, or you can have half cup pomegranate. 30 minutes later, you may enjoy a cup of tea with skim milk and no sugar or enjoy any herbal tea or green tea. Your dinner time should be around 6.30 or 7 p.m. and smaller than your lunch. You could make a nutritional balance by having 3 4 plate full of vegetables. You can, it's your choice whether you want to eat raw vegetables or cooked vegetables and half plate of good quality lean protein such as rajma or chole chaat, organic grilled tofu, grilled fish or one to two small dal chilas. Another dinner option could be khichdi made with lots of vegetables which can be enjoyed with vegetable soup. After dinner you can go for a short walk. In addition to a healthy diet and adequate exercise, make sure to drink enough water and sleep well. 
therefore before you go to bed downtime or relaxation time is really important so your downtime or relaxation time could be at around 9 30 pm at this time you can read a book meditate play music or an instrument or do something that helps you relax this way you can set yourself to a calm mode this will help you with sleep then your bedtime should be at around 10 pm for a healthy weight loss and keep your hormones in control it is crucial for you to sleep for at least seven to eight hours studies have shown that people tend to snack more and skip exercises when they stay up late and these habits can result in weight gain and hormonal imbalance staying up late may also result in low energy as the body did not rest well I hope you got some ideas to plan your own diet to manage PCOD or PCOS conditions. Make sure to eat healthy, stay hydrated and sleep well to manage your PCOD or PCOS conditions. If you have a specific question about those conditions or diet, please reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. While you are here on the page, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, I wish you good health.